What's going on with the Skull Gang, though, man? Yeah, what is this? What's up with the Skull Gang? I'm ready for my next fight, man. Oh. Hey, no, hold on. Before you get it, what's up with this G face, bro? What's wrong with G face? Like, bro, this got up here and told the whole lie, bro. Like, what do you think he's lying about? Bro, this nigga called a whole Mexican that didn't have nothing to do with that full case, bro. Yeah, so what is the deal with that? I saw you talk about it on the news, but that I didn't watch it. It wasn't that full case, bro. I told that him wasn't yesterday. Even case, bro. Droopy? I asked him the same thing. He called Droopy. Droopy cell got raided over the call and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? He trying to blame the brick now. Even though, G-Face, you know you my boy, but you fucked up with that one. Like, <laughs> you, you, you called, uh, I told him, though. You called somebody else to have nothing to do with the nothing case. He like, that's nothing, a whole bro. nother case. He like, he snitched on him too. And he snitched on TC. He like, but well, what I'm talking about, TC came out and said that the same thing, that he didn't do nothing in his favor. He snitched, he slapped the shit out of him. Woo, woo, woo. And I'm like, all right, that's cool for TC. In that case, but like, you know what I mean? What happened with Droopy, you know what I mean? Like, you can't just put that on, cuz, and it ain't, no, it ain't no type of paperwork on this platform, motherfucker. platform, bro, and then you calling on niggas to fade, talking about, you yeah, fuck your baby one or two. This, it was just too much, bro. <laughs> oh, he aired that out? I didn't see that part. Bro, you was sitting here. Bro, he was talking to you. Oh, he on said here. He said he took her shopping. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he said he fucked his baby one more. Yeah, I fucked your baby one more. Like, he said all that, bro. A lot, like. Yeah, that was wild. Like, you know what I mean? That's cross politics, though, bro. Like, like in the, that's to start shit. But I like, mean, I think like that. that like, I it, think. Go ahead, my bad. Yeah, like I gotta that, stop bro. doing that. Shit like that, bro. It could start, shit, bro. It's just like you know what I mean. Like if you a nigga that deal dealt with politics in your life, you know that, bro. You think that was too much? Yeah, it was way too much. I think his right. main goal is to go viral. Yeah, but that he was, was trying to just bring some type of viral content to the table in order to go viral. Because I don't see, I, I, I don't see why you call a. Uh, and the people that was with him that was supporting this should have had a little bit more homework due to it being a black situation. Oh, cloud you get what I'm saying? Like, uh, G Uno and 600. Like, oh, and these are all my know? people, but we just speaking. It's like, I mean, you should have had a little bit more clarity too before you let him speak on it on the platform because it wasn't the right person. Now, if he had got in contact with TC and TC had came on and said what he said, then that's that would have been. Yeah, but that now, been viral. now like, that was weak. it's like, you stupid though, you're not black, but we hold it up to you to produce the paperwork on the other cases. How though? Like, nigga, like, nigga, you ain't I mean, if this the case, this the case, or you yeah. go apologize. Like, you know what I mean? When yeah, you in like, the wrong, yeah. you can't apologize. You know what I'm saying? I'm surprised he ain't get whooped for that shit, bro. Like, you know if we was in a pen, that shit would be a whole issue, nigga. Like, oh, God. If we was in, in prison on a yard somewhere or in the county jail, that shit would be a whole big ass issue. Probably fucking start a riot or something, bro. Like, mm. I'm telling you, shit like that. Yeah. I can see why that would be controversial. You yeah, know what, I mean? what the fuck? But the why street, would you even do that? Bro? The streets has turned it into a shit show. Like Instagram, like, you know what I mean? Like, me and you and a couple other members or alleged members, we, we kind of get it. It's funny. We go on the Instagram, we do funny shit, we say fuck you, but niggas but really nigga fuck know, you, but it's like, nigga man, a nigga ain't worried say, about like, you. Bro. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? You know what All man? the real business get kept off the internet, right? Uh, but nowadays, it's like, oh, that little bit of clout with everybody you was talking to him, that's like back in the days when a nigga would knock something down and the whole city used to be talking about it just on the low, not telling. Now it's like, oh, that nigga went viral. Oh, oh, I gotta go viral. Oh, I'm about to load back up on these niggas. Oh, That's give me, weak give me the fuck, big though. gun, big bro. Oh, yeah, fuck Wooty Woos. Like, oh, you seen him? He had a 50 round drum on his shit. Man, ain't nobody dropped dead. It, you get what I'm saying? Like, come on, gang. So the, the internet, in the streets is turning into a shit show. It's all for bro, like clout and fame. Media now. Shit, bro. Like, it's you all know what I mean? Clout, bro. Yeah. This nigga jumped on the whole internet. He got mad because I called him out on that weak ass shit he did. This nigga jumps on the internet talking about he want to squab. And he want to fade. Like, bro, what the fuck? Well, you think you're too like, good for a fade? Like, bro, who the fuck are you, bro? <laughs> you're in the wrong except the serving and everything will be fine. Who the fuck are you, for one? Why are you even in black business, for two? And three, yo, people should fuck you up for that shit, nigga. Oh, when, God. When you see people nearing their 60s hopping in for the viral activity and 50s and all of that, like, 
coming down, stooping down to this level of, but really getting serious about it and wanting to politic in the hood after something that happens on Instagram, this is when you know it's turning into a shit show. Like, like you old niggas is even partaking in what's going on. And, and like I said, they don't understand that this is a game. Like, the content creators that that's around, we understand. Like, if you say a nigga name on Instagram, the furthest it could go is a fade or a celebrity boxing match. You're not, it's not real smoke. Mm. Nah. Hate to crash it for you, you, you trolls. <laughs> but hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, that's what oh, I was yeah. thinking yesterday when Cowboy went on a big old rant about me on Instagram Live. Adam 22, Brick Baby, I fucking hate y'all. Y'all gonna, I'm gonna run up on y'all. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? You're so old. I can't believe that you, like, this is just your default mode of communication. Like, how the fuck did you just switch into this weird ass, goofy version of your old self? Like, I couldn't believe it. That, I, I don't even know why he mentioned it. Or that, that, the shit that he's responded to is at least a month and a half old. That's what I'm saying. I had already posted some shit that said I ain't talking about him no more. I respect it. I don't respect what he did, but I respect him enough to just stop even talking about it. I just hope, wish that you would have went about it another way. Like, just if you told you should have just been an OG, set back, left the game alone, and just built bro legacy how you was going to do it without – involving hood politics like you could have still been strictly nipsey and doing what you doing and you know what i'm saying but your your approach outside of the campaign for bro is crazy to have done what you had did like you know you broke a rule so you can't be involved in certain activities no more and, and, and it hurts that it's coming from a younger dude that it feels like doesn't have the same rank that he has or whatever and that's the only person now to speak on it but you get what I'm saying? Like, I, re, I, I respect I mean, I understand that fact that what of you did, how you did it for a regular civilian if you was going to back out the game at that moment. What's your take on the, the cowboy situation? I mean, I'll just say I understand both sides of it. I understand what he did, and I understand how the homies going to feel. Like, you know what I mean? Um, I've seen both sides of it, so I know. But, you know, it ain't my business, really. You did a you did a you did a podcast with him though. Yeah. Oh yeah, you were on that shit. What's wrong with the other dude? What's wrong with his hair? The, uh, that's what I said. Yeah, he was on the no no but, jumper reaction channel. That's yeah, what yeah, yeah. That's their, that's, that's they, the they've no earned jumper, that, yeah, that they, qualification yeah, for the, sure. That, that's the no nah, jumper but, reaction that's, channel. Like that's not my business with y'all. No, no, no. I'm talking like, shit. I, that, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like this, you said something, nigga. This my response, nigga. You felt something. I went with it. Like you know what I mean? Like nigga. It's just like, you know what I mean? It ain't my business to me. Like, and it's like, it ain't no. my, it ain't, you know what I mean? What we was asking is, did, didn't did that come up during the, the shit? I didn't watch the whole thing. Didn't, did the, I mean, did we the, talked about a lot of shit. never, ever yeah. come across the shit. What was your standpoint on it? it I mean, it's not my business. Like, that's what I, you told them too? It really ain't my business. Like, yeah. yeah like, uh, you know what I mean? It ain't my business. Yeah, nah, I ain't I like, what shit. you said, like, like, you know what I mean? I like, I like, I feel you. I said I wouldn't have did it, but I wouldn't have did it, but I'm not mad at him for doing what he doing, but he should have just rolled it out, just ride it out. Like, nigga, at the end of the day, so will be in the Just ride business it out, and, my and nigga, like, business, we, You know what I yeah. mean? Like, do your thing, my nigga. You did what you did. Like, I, I feel you, like, but yeah. I wouldn't have did it, but I feel what you say. I feel what you saying. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, the thing about uh, Cowboy uh, is just that I don't even care about him tattletaling. I just am concerned with the fact that he just became a weirdo who's just woofing on fucking podcasts every week talking about us for no reason. Like, this is just his whole life is talking about Brick Baby and Adam now. It's like he's really dedicated to just talking about us. That's what get him his his bullshit numbers. It, you know what I mean? It, a lot of people shit don't thrive unless they got Brick Baby or the 22 Street. Well, that's they, the only they, reason why he does it is because he the only way he can get views is just talking about us. It's weird. It's very weird. Same thing with a lot of people, actually. I mean, that's the internet. Only way anybody gets views is But no, about strictly us. Else. Like, go, go, <laughs> no, just go. <laughs> like, Sometimes it's a little too one You gotta one-sided. go down... The fucking page when you type in the shit. Like, the only ones that hit 100K and better are the ones that are involving our name. Anything over, like, 50K. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it just is what it is at this point. I need everybody to check out NoJumber.com. We officially started a blog. It has in-depth articles about current events, music, etc., plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, etc. And you can get some exclusive new merch if you check out NoJumber.com. So make sure you tap in.